So this is part two of the pelvic tilt series, and we're going to go over how to properly pelvic tilt or the assessment for it, all right? So what I would do if someone walked in, and then if this is what you're going to do if you want to assess yourself, get a mirror, get a video camera, and you're going to set it up, and you're going to get into what's called a 500 posture, is what they call it, TPI, but you're just going to get into like your golf posture. You're going to cross your arms, and then you're going to just work on keeping everything still and post your pelvic tilt, anterior pelvic tilt, post your pelvic tilt, and to your pelvic tilt. Okay, so we're gonna work on doing this motion, all right? If you are able to do this and you're not getting this jerky worky, we call it shake and bake, uh, you have passed and you can move on. You have the pelvic tilt down. I get a little shakiness here and there, okay? So I something I need to continue to work on, but it's not horrible, all right? Now, if you fail, so what would failing be is you cannot do this or you cannot do this without your upper body moving, your legs moving, or you're doing something that is not where everything's locked in place and only your pelvis is moving. That is a fail, all right? So you may just not be able to move at all. You are, have lost your ability to control your pelvis, so you're gonna move other areas in order to try to do that. You've lost that connection with your brain and the muscles. So phase two then is we take a sturdy object, hang on to something that is solid, like a pole or something, get in the same position and you're gonna do the same exercise. Can you now, holding on, keeping your upper body locked in, post your pelvic tilt, anterior pelvic tilt. Posterior pelvic tilt, anterior pelvic tilt. If you can now do it, we know that you have what's called a stability problem. We have locked everything in place and you can control it now because you have the stability to, to aid it. If you are unable to do it with no, the first one, and you're still unable to do it here, then you have a mobility problem. You need to really dive in to creating uh, that connection with your brain and these muscles. And it may be that you're restricted into your joints too, which would be something you would assess with a, a professional, potentially that your hips are too stiff or your back's too stiff. That makes it very difficult, all right? So the two parts are without hanging on to something, can you do it? If you can't, can you then do it with this, all right? And the same thing, if it's shaky when you're doing it, the shake and bake, then it's something that you probably want to work on. I wouldn't say it's a clear pass you want to make it smooth, all right? So that would be the assessment part of the pelvic tilt. So make sure you record yourself, have someone watch, or get in a mirror and watch yourself in that position. And can you do that where you only move your pelvis, nothing else in the body, and is it smooth when you do it? Now we'll jump into some different exercises that you can do for those that maybe uh, can't do neither or can only do it with their hands uh, on right, something solid, something they're locked in for more stability.